Oh, good evening and welcome to the stream. Yes, if you're uh, watching on YouTube, then hi all and welcome to the video. Yes, indeed. Anyway, yes, let's quickly do a bit of social mediaing. Uh, give me one second. The quick thing to do here. One there. And another one there. There we go. Right. We has gotten so far. Uh, then I need to reset the giveaway from yesterday. And... Giveaway open. Mathematica, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, something else I want to do... Just disconnect stream elements. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm Not sure how uh, uh, to remove it, if I'm honest. I did all, all this important dit and whatnot, and none of it worked. So I think the only thing I can do is. It's not the way I wanted to do it, but yeah, I've got to ban it from the chat because I can't disable it from their site. Good evening, all. Right, okay, we're here. Ban stream elements. Only because I couldn't figure out how to switch off the chat interaction. I'll unban it once I figure that bit out. Nothing against stream elements, but... I was trying to get so I could use this theme that I have with, you know, the, the, the visual theme of the stream uh, with just regular OBS and it just would, I just could not get the thing to work. Um, I'm, I'm part, in part of the process with setting up stream elements as admin, <laughs> like a chat admin. Um, unfortunately, that meant every time I give Moobot commands, it kind of comments on them. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's about time I did something. And there's no simple way to remove it from the chat on their dashboard. Or there probably is, but I couldn't see it. Uh, so I've just manually temp banned them. Yeah. As a matter of convenience, is it a null week for um, Arbiter, or has he just failed to spawn? I am not sure which. Gladiator Ben, welcome to the chat. Good to see you. How the devil are you? All right. 
let's just put that in. And cast our main pet. There he is. So how the devil is everybody? Are we all well? How are things? So no, not well. There's no, no arbiter there. Should he? Should he not have spawned today? Have I got it wrong? Should he? Should he have spawned today? There was no herald at the grid. So I'm thinking, yeah, failure to spawn. There's someone waiting for him there. Or waiting for the drone, at least. We need to retrieve a bag of win. Not sure which or which ones we need. Um Derek Scott giveaway. That was in ah yeah, that's another that's a good one. Okay, so that was Derek Scott's giveaway. Or Dark Scott, rather than Derek Scott. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Uh yes. That was that one. I think that means then I must have given away. all of the other ones then maybe not sure anyway there's our bag of wind for this evening so a little bit different than the previous ones so with this you get complete crystallized memories active ancient bracer heavy note and tank Motivide, Notum Trench, 2,000 tokens, Hold Hell at Bay, Lava Boots, and Ability NCUs. I think they're all quality 300 ones. So you get five of those. Nice. Right, okay, so we got some dailies. What did we get? Salvage mission, okay. Find the doohickey on the alien ship. Sure, why not? So that's tonight's bag of win. I thought I had more of the other ones, though. Have I literally given them all away? I know there was quite a few. No, I think maybe that's it. this one no that's another one <laughs> no it can't be that's in there for some reason okay this one's kind of mixed uh, I think this one is some of the it's got some no drops in it as well so I'm not 100% sure on that one where that's come from okay Yeah. 
large backpack a oh what's this one that's a giveaway bag i think not really the eye of an eleven was this one that's an empty bag i think that's a personal bag yeah pretty sure it is okay yeah i think i've given the other bags of win away my god they've gone already i can't believe it i knew we'd get through them eventually but there you go right, uh, what we do yes we're doing Do the alien ship raid. The salvage mission, I think it is. Run round and find the doohickey. Works for me. Missed. in aliens for this mission we're just gonna run round try and spot the magic item on the floor and not run through fire if we can help it tar will spawn in 19 minutes according to global chat this way haven't we not seeing the doohickey fire here there and everywhere the ship the ship is on fire everybody run not there did we go down here I think we did, yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. We ran past it. Got him. So how is everybody in the chat? Are we well? Are we doing okay? Are we having fun? I think I've even got bags on other characters to give away still that I haven't given away yet. <laughs> I'm not sure. Another big pet. Eventually I will get it. You've got to do the biome um, dome raid, haven't you, for that one? Trando, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How the devil are you? Mission complete. Give him the doohickey. 
Silent Aim, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Sunday evening, so we get mentally ready for daytime job tomorrow. Yeah, I actually have tomorrow off, and mine starts Tuesday evening. Just that's how it is. Um. So yeah, slightly different, but yeah. Uh, warden stains. Let's go talk to the warden. Or, you know, we could lag and bounce back 20 yards. That, that works. <laughs> As eyes on. Good evening, ladies and gents. Hope the weekend's treated you all well, indeed. Yes, no beer this evening. Mrs. Kalos 2 is in work until later. Meaning I've got to go and pick her up later. So, no boozing. Driving and driving an alcohol. Very, very bad idea. Do not do it. The only time I'll have a drink with alcohol is if it's with a large meal and like a two hours after the drink. And I don't drink more than a drink. And I mean like a domestic beer. So, yeah. <laughs> it is a life lesson you think about it for one second bear with me think of this all right you have that one drink uh you get into an accident but it's not your fault and someone gets hurt for the rest of your life you were going to be thinking could i have avoided that accident if i hadn't had that that drink would it have made that one nanosecond a difference you're never going to let yourself go for it you know? Lady Sky Cannon, with a loot, please. Thank you very big. And good luck. Silent aim, with a loot, please. Good luck. Yeah, I think the stream elements was breaking um moobot as well occasionally it wasn't counting people for some reason i need the luck today it's a bag of wind day eh? zizan with the loot please good luck yeah i don't mind I, I have alcohol you know after the day's finished and you know there's no, no real serious responsibilities to think about kind of thing after that point we know our fire drill, you know, and all of that. <laughs> we'll go, depending where it is, <laughs> one of the options is going out of that window. Uh, so, yeah. Trandar with the loot, please. I need the blitzing services. Oh, someone needs. What do you need? Blitzing. Not that. Not I'm. Not I'm offering to do it. I'm hopeless. But what is it you need? Um, blitzing. Hi, I'm Oliver. Followed you twenty-one hours ago. And Lotus three seventy followed you yesterday. Was that during the stream or? 21 hours? It might have been during the stream, I'm not sure. Is that a blitzing nano, is it? And there. 
prisoner is down. What's the timer? Ugh, 24 minutes. Should have done this one first. Never mind. Got 10 minutes to wait. Not to worry. We'll amuse ourselves. <laughs> he said, hopefully. Uh, de -de 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 -de. Oh, dear. Yeah, Sundays. Is, is that a bit of a weird day for a stream, or is it okay kind of thing? Uh, Friday, Saturday seems to be a better day. Yes, tonight's bag of win, boys and girls, is hold hell at bay. Five ab quality 300 ability NCUs, uh, some lava boots, an active ancient bracer, uh, complete crystallized memories, heavy gnome tank, a modified Nokum mesh trench coat. Although I think someone actually gave this to me. <laughs> and I put it in this bag because I had this bag on me. And uh, a token package, 2,000 tokens. Girthy Muffin with a loot, please. Good luck. So anyone got any good memes while we're, while we're hanging around and waiting? Seen some funny shizzle on Twitter today. <laughs> and lots of crap, yeah? Are people looking forward to the new Fallout series on Prime? I've been watching the trailers for it. They look really good. And a couple of the actors in it are, like, quite notable character actors. So I'm quite interested to see... Um, how that's going to be adapted. Be interesting to see how they... I don't know, really. Anyone want some um, box of energy ammo? I've apparently gotten today. For the... No, there's the Noten Mesh trench coat. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That, that'll be my one, and the one in the bag is whatever. Just trying to make a bit of room in my bags. So There's it? never sufficient room. Bobby, Scar Bobby with a loot, please. Good luck. You only need... Yeah, there you go, with a hashtag. I did it like it's an org bot. Yeah, it was Savik that set that up. And she just she chose hashtag to do it. So I was like, okay. Bobalicious with an evening, please. Good luck. <laughs> Good evening, Bobalicious. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, what was it? I'm, I'm trying to think what the meme was on Twitter. It, it wasn't bad. I mean, chances of finding it again. You know the way these days you go on Twitter and it does this really annoying thing. You sort of just scroll in and scroll in. You see something and you start watching it and then suddenly it, it jumps and it's it's like they've replaced it with like four or five other things and you're scrolling going, well, where's the hell is the thing I was trying to look at just now? Um, it, it's just, wait, what? You know. You see a lot of funny stuff like this. TikTokers. <laughs> oh, 
mean. And then just random. Who are all these people that the, the feed give, it gives you these days? It's just, what even is this anymore? Like, who's who's this channel? What? Why? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's just the way that um, Twitter's gone. I'm never calling it X. <laughs> I'm feeling. I'll still be using Twitter when you're gone. Well, is that one grime lust has followed so thank you for the follow Found another friend in game. Corpy is level two oh nine. Soldier with a paren. Still a cool look super cool looking weapon with the animation and everything. God damn, it's a party. Ninglebat. 174 trader. And a shade. A high level one. A 220. Two minutes. Well, that's gone by quickly. The shade is you. I thought I recognised that. <laughs> Evo, <laughs> Evo pwned. Froob agent trader. Okay. Overpowered. Last night was awesome. We had three different AO streamers. Nice. Nice to watch AO streams right here. It's always daytime when you stream for me. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, Jolie Storm lurking again. Hey, lurkers are welcome. No problem with lurkers. People got lives and stuff to do. It's cool. Don't worry. I'm going to spawn any minute. <sighs> yes, I am tired. Ugh. Yes, Saturdays are such a long day for me. I'm work for 6 a.m. and then if I'm lucky I get a bit of sleep after work and, and then before making tea and then uh, doing the stream. Yes, yesterday was a good one because Mrs. Callus 2 was off so like everything was done before 7 so yeah it was just like yeah chill have a beer have a stream go to bed so it wasn't too bad. Oh, 
I want to make a nano mage shade. Any advantages to nano for, for shade? Absolutely none. <coughs> all you got to remember, all your spirits are sense and agility. Um, so agility is okay, but I think sense is pretty weak. So all your spirits are going to be a bit not great. Uh, your weapon skill is going to be a little bit weaker. You can have less health. Um, most of the nanos are level locked, so regardless of nano skill, you're not really gaining much. So other than breed perks for PvP, I guess, maybe. Trying to find... In fired up an old install of Quake 3 and wanted to check out some, yeah, some old Rocket Arena demos. Didn't work for some reason, getting client server mismatch. Yeah, maybe there's like a, an updated client version. You're going to have to download to get on the servers now. I don't know. Yeah, I think the, the servers are going to be on whatever the latest netcode and whatever is, aren't they? You can play matches, but you can't watch demos. Kind of weird. Thanks for team. Right, let's go to... Depending on... Which bag I put it in. Where's my DB codes? I know I got some. Don't know what I did with them. <laughs> uh oh. Another bag of awesomeness there. That's the bag of win giveaway. Oh god, where's my DB codes? Oh, they're right there. There you go. <laughs> Poof. There you go. Leave team. Right, we're doing... what was it? Scavenger Perpetual Wastelands. <coughs> Let's go. Kingpin, yeah, I, I remember that. I remember it being a game and like, like a small campaign and then PvP. I remember thinking it looked really good and I remember playing it on a CRT. Oh, there was a lot of cussing. Yeah, there was a lot of cussing. Definitely. I mean, most PvP games, there's a lot of cussing and swearing, you know. I don't really remember much about it, except um, <clears throat> it at the time, it looked like really impressive graphics, but that was on, like, a really nice... I think I had a... Um, Toshiba it was like a Sony Trinitron but like I think either the Samsung or Toshiba version of it a 17 inch one uh, it was pretty cool yeah that was my jam was Unreal Tournament the, the original Unreal Tournament um, Instagib just playing on Instagib so everyone just gets the same weapon and it, it, so it's just run and gun there's no trying to do any getting certain weapons for certain things. It, it was just go, go, go. Pick up health, pick up armor, you know. Yeah, the, the Unreal Engine was developed for it, yeah. One of the guys that came up with the original Unreal Tournament is the main guy from Warframe these days. Steeb. <laughs> cool guy. A really creative, imaginative guy.
Okay, we got scope. So we'll do it. We want a barrel. Uh, I used to look, like enjoy watching. He used to stream a bit as well, you know. Okay, that's the trifecta. We has all three. We need we need more AO night streams. Well, it's night time for me, as you can probably see on the game clock. Twenty past eight here. I've tried Star Citizen. I thought it was total garbage. I really didn't like it. Even on my system, it ran like ass until I disabled the e cores. Which made me go, really? How long have we had those now? And then, really no interaction with anyone. Uh, no kind of real tutorial. I, I, I played it for about three, four days, trying to get my head around it. Um, <clears throat> and in the end, just plain didn't like it. So it was, you know, when they do those free week or month things. I, and I ended up, I uninstalled it before the free trial ran out. I just didn't get on with it. You know, flew all the way, spent three hours getting to a nearby planet to do a pickup mission. Finally got the pickup, came outside, and then accidentally <laughs> snagged something as I was taking off and going for orbit. The ship blew up, and then I woke back up in my bed with none of the gear I'd started with. And I was just like... <sighs> At this it runs like ass it doesn't look nearly as good as it does in their trailers and before someone says well upgrade your graphics then we've got a 4080 bugger all to upgrade i'm gonna go and do a tara tag as well i just saw it came up yeah so i'm aware of it i played it maybe six hours total and did not like it and just yeah done I'd never spend money to play it, so. And it was one of their videos that made spark my. Oh, it's free this week. Okay, well let's let's give this a go because that trailer looked amazing, um, especially in in the wake of Starfield and all its loading screens. Um, but the reality is, after the first time of running spending 20 minutes running to wherever your ship is getting on your ship checking you've got enough fuel and whatnot getting into orbit getting to a space station refueling leaving the space station flying to the planet in real time getting to the planet trying to find where you're meant to be on the planet landing getting into the atmosphere and then landing on the planet and spending two hours doing just that <clears throat> and then accidentally flying over some base of criminal hideout that you weren't aware of from orbit and being blown up to wake back up in your room again with nothing in a in a bed sheet. <laughs> Just like fuck this. <laughs> Honest to God. The gameplay loop is is yeah. It's, and in graphics wise, you know, uh, Cyberpunk is leaps and bounds further ahead. Um, even Starfield's pretty close in, in actual graphical quality when you're actually playing the game. Um, frame rate is terrible around built-up areas, and uh, like dire. But 4080, um, you know, a five gig, 13th gen Intel CPU, and you're still only getting 40, 50 FPS or whatever. It's like, what a sack of crap, you know. Don't say it. Well, too late. I've already said it, but I'm like, I don't care. If you like your game, fine, play it. I don't. I think it's crap. And that's why I don't want to play it. I've tried it. I don't like it. I don't want to play it. That's it. You're not going to convince me otherwise. That's not how it works. Return to the bar as well. Let's go and do that. It might have a diehard fan base, but I think 
a lot of it is after you know if you spent two hundred dollars to get into this game with a big pretty ship and the game is actually crap you're going to do all in your power to convince yourself and everyone around you that it wasn't a bad deal aren't you you know just saying <laughs> you know you, you, you people are like oh it's not very realistic because you know you know about starfield oh you know the loading screens get on a ship and suddenly you're, you teleport to orbit uh, uh, it's not very immersive and yeah but when you've actually got to do it every single time you want to go anywhere <laughs> probably requires a ton of vram no it ain't my system it's just very very badly optimized very badly my gpu was a uh, was like 40 percent load using six gig of the 16 gigabytes of vram it has still ran like ass because the game just runs like ass that's it no nothing to do with the system at all i think i already yeah i spoke to the warden didn't i yeah <coughs> Yeah, I, I've got tons of VRAM. I never came close to filling the VRAM. I mean, I can run that Avatar game on um, unobtainium settings and get over 100 frames a second, so it ain't that. Right, I think that's all those dailies done now. Yeah, well, it didn't need... An 8 gigabyte card should be enough. Because it didn't... It never got that high. Um, it never got much over 6 on mine. And I was on forums and looking for, you know, is there things you need to set up on the system that maybe um need tweaking same with ao in a lot of games you know you got to do you got to do a bit of legwork to get the most out of it so i'm looking around for this and it's enable rebar disable rebar um allocate this do that do, do the other and, it, and it's all like yeah i know but it's been an unfinished game since inception and it's never going to be a finished game It's a different, um, it, it's the rocket that never gets built and takes off, essentially. And the problem with the rocket that keeps being redesigned and rebuilt and never takes off is it never gets anywhere. And even if it did, by that time, more advanced rockets have already got there, you know, and, and that's kind of where it is. So what they're trying to do graphically has been super, has been superseded by tons of other game makers already. I mean, it's still DX11, you know. I mean, maybe they can they can do more with it and, and whatnot, but... No, it just ran horribly. I had to disable half my, my, my CPU just to make it run at all. Because... It would run part of the game instruction on one core running at 5.3 gigahertz and another instruction on uh, another core, like one of the E cores, it's running at 4.2 and it would just go <coughs> as you're moving around. It was disgusting to play. It made you feel very queasy. So I went in, disabled all the E cores, so dropped, you know, half the CPU's performance for background tasks because it can't allocate to P cores. That was slightly better, but then I had to lock every core at the same speed. Otherwise it went like that. It was just... <laughs> and my graphics card sat there going, well, come on then. You know, like, I'm in the middle of a, a city centre place with dozens of people everywhere getting 15 frames a second, my CPU's at 30%, and the GPU's at 30%. <laughs> it it's not the hardware, you know? Sorry, it's, it's not. 
so I just yeah I just unins uninstalled it re-enabled all the nice things on my system and carried on and then the gameplay loop itself didn't like it and a lot of people like had a go at Death Stranding like well you're just delivering things but there is a lot more to the game than that so I suppose in that respect there's a lot more to that game than delivering things or picking things up I mean there's bounties and stuff isn't there or whatever so I'm sure there's there's that kind of thing to do but yeah about six hours of gameplay and I, I was done just yeah not for me so it may well have its die-hard fans but there's better games out there I'm sorry It's not like they can't afford more people, mate. They're making more money than most game producers have got. And that's that's not what it is either. Um, what reason is there for them to release the game? They make more money by not releasing it and, and playing the... We're a small development team making the biggest, most specialist game in the world and it will be one day. They're selling a dream. That's That's what they're doing. They're renting out a dream to people. Uh, so they're not going to change that model it's too profitable any glitches and things breaking in the game oh it's still beta yeah stay in beta forever and you don't have to finish it and if anything's broken well it's a beta you know we said it's a beta but yeah, there's no reason for them to release it. They make far more money selling it to people as it is than finishing it and selling it. Yeah, the new beta engine that we've had for... What? When did it come out? 2015? On the live... Let's say the official launch when it came to the live server was... I released a video for it the same day. It was, it was in 2015, I can't remember the date. But yeah. They've got no reason to finish that, ever finish that game. No motivation to. Making plenty of money the way they are. Keep fiddling with it, keep tweaking it, keep adding to it. Just never call it finished. Mm -hmm. Because people will are more happy to believe in the what it will finally become um, ideology than the reality of well this is what it is right now. It's just psychology. It's fine if people like enjoy what it is they enjoy what it is good good for them you know, I'm not ever gonna criticize people for liking something they like it they like it I don't think we're gonna see a repeat of the luck that we had yesterday I think we had exceptional luck yesterday's stream what did we kill? Two, two Somphos and it dropped the doji. It was unbelievable. remember the age when you got a demo of a game for free like on a disc on a magazine or something and you got a rough idea of what the game was going to be like crisis did it uh, gave you the entirety of the first level um and you could mess with it mess with the graphics on it you know really sandbox on that first mission stage 
That was pretty like impressive. People were excited for the release. And they sold it in spades. And then Deus Ex was the same. It gave you the very first um, Liberty Island mission for the original Deus Ex. And I remember playing the the demo um, and it had already released, but the demo came out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. On like PC Gamer magazine or something. Finished finished the, um, the first mission five different ways and went, oh yeah, this is great. And, and just stood up went into town and bought the game didn't didn't think twice about it just went, stood up after finishing that went into town bought it came back installed it loaded it up and it said load game i went oh my god i can even load the get this save, get save game from the demo that i've already played through and just carried on playing it from there thought it was awesome Stone Legion followed you. Thank you very much for the follow. And Grime Lust, thank you for the follow if I didn't already. I think I did. But in case I didn't, there you go. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, how long they took to release it, yeah. Well, they had so many false starts with it, didn't they? That's the thing. I mean, they had, they were going to do it in the, I think it was the Ogre engine, you know, with much nicer looking graphics, to be fair, than, than this. Um, but it turned out that the, the video release that they did, that they've now set to private or something, um, because it isn't this engine, so they've taken it off the website and taken it off YouTube, but there, there are other people that have still got it on their channel. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's a very different engine. Yeah, the beta was only two weeks long. I remember that. Well, the beta I got on. Yeah. Get the disc test version, but it's great. And they abused the crap out of it was Age of Conan when they created such a thing as a 1 to 20 zone and then the rest of the game wasn't even there. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I, think it's that around, I feel around that time was a massive turning point for the worst. From no more uh, demos to paid beaters. Yeah, well, you still get um, game demos. You're just very, very much more rare than they used to be. Like a small developer um, did a refresh of System Shock and released a demo of that on Steam for free. And I tried the demo and went, yeah, this is pretty good. I like this. And um, just thought, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. I think, I think I will purchase the full game. Same with um, Robocop. They did a, a timed demo. So it didn't it didn't run indefinitely. It's not like you can go back and play that demo. But I bought the full game on the strength of the demo. I just thought, wow, yeah, it really looks great. It feels very, very much the movie, you know. Much more like you say now, a lot more of it is, unfortunately is, um, you know, paid, paid beaters and whatnot. <coughs> you know, they've figured out, oh, you know, pe we, people will pay us to test things for us. You know, and because it's run by suits, they're like, yeah, oh, let's make money. Don't mind product quality, just make the money. Factorio. 
uh, or was a beta 2, but then it was not fully out. It was impressive, and I wanted to support the game, but I think that became a really good selling game too. Yeah, I think maybe it did. I've heard of it. Um, wish more devs would bring back demos. Yeah, Steam encourages them to do it because um, it's a hell of a big platform to, to uh, release your game, isn't it? You know, if you if it picks up on Steam, I mean, but Hell Divers, God, look at look at how popular that was so quickly. If you search by demo on Steam, there's still quite a few there. I mean, just not like the old days, but there are some there. Now, companies used to look at releasing a demo as a means of promotion. Um, Whereas now they spend money on promotions and expect to recoup it through paid beaters and stuff. You know, it's, it's just done quite differently, sadly. mobs in this game <laughs> it just annoy me it's like i can't see what i'm doing could you just go over there please you know. <laughs> hey carl how are you doing today i see you were enjoying this mp more than the nano mage yeah i never yeah i don't know what it is i think it's just me and nano mage you know i don't even think it's the other mp I mean, I'm tempted to breed change the old MP, but maybe not to Actrox, maybe something like Easy Street, like Solitus or something. Seeing as he's got most of the hard to get stuff. <laughs> Would lose some uh, skill points in, in nano skills, though. Let's face it. Ding AI twenty three. Congrats. No one can see anything, dude. You're spoiling the stream now. Shot. <laughs> yeah, nothing on him. My perks are broke. Oh dear. Not good on shade. We definitely don't want broken perks on a shade. Oh, 
I was thinking of playing the game again. I was thinking through, but then that always burns me out. Yeah, if you know, yeah, once you know the paid game, it can, yeah. Um, but I think uh, I played, I sadly played this game on and off forever. Never done any end game. Only got 200 a couple of times. Never been 220. All oh, right. Yeah, it's, um, and end game's pretty good. Not going to lie. End game is pretty cool. Really, we've got a Hothian? There's Hothians that aren't grey. Oh, that one's not. Okay. Oh my god. Still got five hours. I think they last a total of six hours, don't they? From the minute you cast them. Something like that. Yeah, that could be a fun thing to do. Breed change my old um, Nano Mage MP that I never play anymore. But 99% of the time he's been logged on. Um, since since I started a, a whatever let's play, let's build it was after him, um, has just been um, to buff other characters with. I think for the most part, I don't think I've done anything else with him since. So he's virtually as he was on the last episode of Let's Build a Tomb, well, whatever it was. Might do that. I have got a breed change or three. Oh wait, or have I? Are they? Am I supposed to be giving those away? I'm not even sure, you know. I might, you know, maybe I should, you know, I'll double check which stuff is actually mine and which stuff is give it away stuff. <laughs> That's better, relog. Okay, cool. Yeah, playing, playing from scratch is quite enjoyable um, and, and the best way to sort of relearn the game itself. Heal yourself, Sav. There you go. Where's that cork? Oh no. Which one of the There it is. point yeah that's the other thing as well but he's already got the ruin and, and all that kind of stuff Getting everything now Nanomage, I never seem to quite get on with it, so. Some foss. Be interesting to see what an up, you know, like a a different variant would be. That's all. But yeah, we're probably better off just sticking the way it is. 
I mean, I've deleted two 20s before to, to make a new one. So, you know. I might sound crazy, but I have done it. When I didn't realise I could get extra player slots, or character slots, rather. No, not having much luck today. I think we go back to start. Have a zone. I think we've been here for 20, 30 minutes or whatever. What's that? El Meccano. <laughs> cool. Now you watch, Carl. I'm on my way up on Shade and I'll get one. <laughs> yeah. First kill. Boom. Yep. Yeah, yesterday we came along here uh, just where the Somphos start to spawn. There was two of them there. And quite literally, um, second one I killed. Boom. Doja. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, one of these dudes yesterday, they like, killed, you know, I was fully expecting to spend 15 to 20 minutes or, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, sure enough, another one dropped. I was like, oh, right, okay. Yeah, Shades are very powerful solo, very strong solo class. Big old damage as well. They solo well because their damage also heals them. So you hit something for 10k with a perk, it's hit, like out of totemic rights. They're all a life tap, so each one of them is actually, every time you're, you're hitting for 6k, you're getting healed for 6k, or whatever value. Quite high value. Yeah, sneaking health drain's okay. Um, I mean, it doesn't have anything like the healing power of totemic rights. It's like the first um, perk line you should invest in, in fact. It's like priority perk channel. Because not only will it do damage, it will also heal you. So. Struggle on low B shade is comp lit. Like one to one hundred, it's quite it is quite tricky. Comp lit's hard because you've got no implants for it because you can't use implants, and it doesn't turn up in any of your spirits until you get the uh, syndicate brain from Adonis. So until you get that, yeah, you, you're struggling like all hell, you know.
Because even if you could get loads of um, buffs or whatever. Uh, what you have got, though, is really good sneak. I think only Agent is better. But I think it's probably Agent, then Shade, and then whoever else, you know, for sneak being a, a viable thing. But it means you can sneak down to all kinds of places that you wouldn't normally be able to blitz to uh, and do all kinds of things in that way. Not seeing any mobs here, and I quite fancy another cup of tea, you know. Yeah, I do. So I'm going to go to this little hidey spot here. Well, then go away and get one. Oh, I just saw on Darknet uh, five molars. So that'll be the ice golem molars. Free for all, 29 minutes. That was Nano Mac 3. Just sent that. So if you're after one, there's, there's a good time. Right. Very quickly then, I'm going to shoot off. Make myself a nice cuppa. And I'll be back. All right, folks. Right, I is back. Told you it wouldn't be long. Alright, there we go. Does with a loot please. Good luck. Yeah, sneaking health strain's useful. I'm not sure if it actually works on multiple mobs at the same time, but I always try and cast it on everything I'm fighting. <laughs> So we can pull some of these ones from over there. Second demon drop you a doji. There you go. No justice. Mm. 
And Stone Legion followed 25 minutes ago. Did I miss that? Well, anyway, welcome on in if I did. Apologies. I'm just not having a good luck day when it comes to Doja Drop today, and you are, so. thing I found with my shade was making the alpha spirits. Yeah, it's quite a long-winded process. I think, what, what, how long did we spend on it? It was like a whole stream, wasn't it? So it was like three, four hours. Once you've done them, though, upgrading them is easy. Just keep adding beaters to them until they go all the way up to 300. No kind of juggling treatment items and whatnot. It's all just like get ability items on, get them in. You know, that's it. Job done. And the beaters just have to be one of the two or three that we use to make the alpha. And then either one of the two converted beaters either one of those beta types you just keep adding to it until it upgrades all the way to 300 and turns pretty blue I remember the first time I did it um, I had two alphas that needed to be combined and they were already blue and when I combined them they dropped back down to like quality 260 and turned green again and was like no um, and then I had to bump them back up So yeah, there's, there's more levels of complexity to, to doing spirits than there is to doing alphas and betas. Yay, Doja. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Second run went better. So yeah, we'll give that a click. And hand it in. Shame freelancers isn't up because we'd have definitely got it completed today. <laughs> You're playing your level up and the the twink every 10 20 levels and think this won't take long you look eight hours later and it's still not done yet <laughs> yeah th there's a lot of that in AO even if you know exactly what you're doing and you've got it all planned out <laughs> which is not what I do I, I get started and go oh wait I've forgotten 10 things I need as well and then <laughs> run around like a blue ass fly trying to organize them all just to get back to doing what I was doing in the first place, yeah. I do it in a very sort of haphazard and chaotic way, really. The nice thing with the um, the armor packs you get, you know, the ones you buy and then they're available on every character you roll, is they auto level. So you put them on and that's it until you, you're going to be upgrading your armor for something better. And it's pretty, I mean, for leveling, it's really good armor. Each piece has got a 5% XP bonus on it, so yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah, Lux armor does, um, Colonist bundle one does. Not sure I've got any on me still. Yeah, there you get a backpack as, as well. Uh, it goes up to 200. Luxurious tanks armor. There you go. Auto levels. Gives you first aid and treatment for 10. Uh, NCU, 50 to a nit at this level. And the XP bonus of 5% on each and every piece. Yeah. Cracking armor. When, when, steam, when there's a steam sale on, that's the time to get it.
Actually, isn't there a steam sale on at the moment? Uh -huh. I've got steam. Oh, I've moved steam, haven't I? Yeah. I got the Evo drive. I moved it. It's on here somewhere. There you go. Spring sale now on. Popped up in the corner there. So if we look all the way here. Uh, store page. All of it should have the armor somewhere. Because I've bought it before. Colonist bundle, ten, ten pound. I've already bought it though. But yeah, so you buy that, and then go to CD keys. New colonist bundle there. Oh. Uh, am I clicking the wrong thing? Yeah, CD keys. So it'll give you that key. And then you copy that and redeem it at the Funcom store. You, if you're watching this stream later, this won't work, it's been redeemed. So, yeah. Because they've already redeemed it. So if you try and use that key, so you get that, and then you go to... Let me just not dox myself here. Yeah, so you go to the, the main site, log into the account. There you go, and then you just put that key in there. Key redemption, redeem. And then open up the store window in game. So you go to store. And scroll either on here or somewhere. Claim items, maybe. Yeah, colonist bundle claim for zero Funcom points like that, you see. And then poof, you've got it on your new character. Or any any existing character as well. And it gives you that, a bunch of other bits and pieces. It's pretty nice. Uh, but you can't claim it on twenty on the twenty nineteen server, I don't think. Speaking of the 2019 server, let's go there. Oh, no, you did it wrong. <laughs> Try that again. Yeah, I got it. It was like six, seven dollars or something uh, when I did get it. Yeah, so we made this character. For the lols. Yes, we will join Hive. Thank you. So we did that. But if you go to the item store on 2019, go to the store, there's no claim items button. It's gone. You've got to buy everything again.
Oh, you get the phase font lounge, <laughs> Westerland Lounge Master. You can claim that. Um, <laughs> but that's it. Yeah, never mind. Oh, return to the S. I didn't return because I didn't have. Well, I need to be a higher level. I'll log this guy off here. We'll goof around on 2019. Ooh, that's different. I've not had that one in a very long time. Infestation Aegean at the Rhino Man Village. Oh my god, that's a hike and a half. Where can you offer me an elite assignment? Subway, because we're level 24. Goodbye. Yeah, Lux Armor is really good for leveling up. Every every kill, you, I think you, with a nano can, you you you're way way up on your um, XP gains. Oh no! Uh, that was a waste of a level. <laughs> Never mind. I clicked without thinking. I'm a doofus. Right, Aegean infestation is going to take a while. It's probably take as long to get there as it will to actually do the mission. Ugh. Should we get an XP buff before we go? I think maybe we should. Can't grid for it yet, so it's going to take a while to get there even. Trying to think how you get there now. So four holes we want to go we've got to go all the way to broken shores and then four holes okay and then we've got to run right across the map to get it Seems awfully bright, did I? No, it's just very bright here. Wow, look at that. Dun, dun, dun. We have 30 tokens. Woohoo. Yeah, no veteran points carry over on this server either, which is a bit annoying, but... What have we got for NCU? Like, nothing! 88. Don't you see? 124. Let's save that. We'll get a belt and something on for that. Strength, stam, agility, intelli. 
Melee weapons. Let's do these two. Melee specials. Fast attack. Save that. Now the combat and healing. May as well. We cannot use that grid. You need 181 comp lit. We ain't got it. <laughs> Five minutes or so, six minutes. got the newcomers stuff but you've got a clicky at least with the Lux army it just automatically levels as you level So while we're waiting for him to spawn the whatever, <laughs> do the armor. Before we get the, the pulse, hopefully I've got one NCU free for it. Should have. We'll do a bit of NCU so we can get a hack and quack. There we go. How's this guy doing? Three minutes, okay. Anything good on Steam? Don't know. Where's Steam disappeared to? It's gone. <clears throat> Me down here somewhere, but I can't get to it. Bots in old Athens have just crashed. Doo -doo.
Xari, with the loot, please. Yeah, I think when we first started over on this um, server, uh, we kind of clubbed together and went, yeah, one of us make an Omni tune and, and so they can go buy med suits. Thirty seconds. Come on. Here we go, we got the big XP bonus buff of 35%. You may laugh, but... <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, there's no GMI, so there's no thousands of um, nano cans for sale for glumpants on the GMI with XP buffs in them. Yeah, so I think a three slot and some NCU would be nice. Oh my god, even that probe is orange. It's a lot easier getting that buff on this server once you've got grid access because you've got none of this running around to do. That definitely helps. An interesting little area, really. It's very bright. I think maybe all these are light sources or something. <clears throat> right. We'll transfer over the three slot and some NCU and then get some buffs, I reckon.
Right. Camp. And... Log again. To a mule. They're actually Mrs. Kalos 2's uh, characters, but I pay for her account, so effectively it's my second account. <laughs> Right, okay. Well, she can claim a reward. There you go. On a little mule. And I will log... I'm sure he's got a three slot he's not using. And the NCU he would have had in them. Somewhere. Don't know where, but somewhere. There's an NCU. And one six one to get that one. Where's the three slot? Belt of Justice. Ah, no. Unique? Can I trade it? It's not a no drop, is it? Uh, clan tokens from 96. Oh, I can't, can't use it on that character yet. Did I only have that or did I? I'm sure I had a three slot. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> I've got the head, sleeve, and the boots on the, the, the <clears throat> it's 2019 only stuff, but pretty nice. Where that one? Uh, these are higher ones. These are, yeah, they're not the quest ones. Okay. We just do the quest. That'll be 139 for that. Damn. <coughs> Let's put a comp lit implant in then. NT has a comp lit right hand, I think. And I. Can I get a 30 in? Intelligence from 64. What have we got? Yep. Can do 30s.
that has given us uh, one five two. Which I think means I can use that one. No, I've got to wait till the belt thinks it's on. I can use the other NCUs now. 157. We have 157 exactly. Hurrah. <laughs> one hand blunt. That's not really helpful. Let me just stay with this one. Unless there's anything better. What quality was that implant anyway? That one I mean. That's only a 10. Okay. Two hand blunt treatment. Okay. What's the keeper got? Treatment and time space. Okay. Now just go as we are. What the hell? What's the right arm? Should be. Two hand edges there. Yeah, should I? Uh, I'll do a couple more upgrades. Uh, chest, maybe, because we're up effects. Probably need some of these. Manly and knit. Dodge range? No. Left arm. We do a 50, 104 agility. We are up effects. We can do a 50 arm. Can we do... Stamina, 104. What are we doing? No. Unless we get buffs. Do a level 50 leg, I think. Agility, yeah. Right arm, two hand edge, quality 50. Yeah, we can do those. Oh, your treatment is required to be 242. Two. And we have. Two, three, eight. I need a med suit. <laughs> or maybe a quick treatment buff. Might be faster going and seeing if we can get a treatment buff off the buff bot. I was there thinking, yeah, I'll have enough treatment. Nope. <laughs> Not today. Buff bot is up. Yay. Gen 
points for you we got now 76 we do need one more level to get um the plus 40 ncu buff as well so specialist treatment superior first aid there you go that'll do it won't be one in there will be one in fair trade though Okay. Yay. My creation, and that was that one. What was the wrist? Multi melee run speed. Could get a better evade -y, um thing. I don't think these have got the sided um or maybe they have. Where's where's Kipper? Let's go for do they have the evade feet? No, they don't have evade feet. Is that going to be martial artist, maybe? No, physical in it, no. Fixer? Yeah, okay, so what's a 50 one of them? Agility, nice. Agility. Ah, oh, did the other thing have agility? It has four agility in it. Which leaves us one tiny bit down. Look at the perks. And I've already got primary genome. Enhanced DNA. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> the perfect crime. There we go. Um, waste. What have you guys got? We've got a Vady Waste. No, we want to keep. We want to keep a waste, don't we? Two hand edge, is it? Two hand edge in waste. Soon find out. No biomet and whatnot. Okay, what waste do you got? Stamina and what? Okay. Engie, what have you got? Thanks, no, no, no. Forcer. Brawling, no brawl on this weapon. Uh, Doc, I don't know what Doc has. ACs and whatnot. Agent? No idea. Deck XP, okay. Add V. Oh, you're going to have a mix, aren't you? So you've got the brawling one and you've got the chem AC one. wonder if that's worth getting. Yeah, why not? Sense is too low. Oh. Still going to be too low. <laughs> Damn you. I thought I had 104 in agility and sense, but I don't. E you back to keeper one second. What's in the ear on keeper? Okay. 
people got any psychology bright it's gonna be entirely your psychic in here Ah, we'll put it in next level. That'll do. Nice cancel. Robust treatment. And then we'll get some more useful buffs, I think. We'll try and see. We can get hack and quack now, I think. I can not put anything into anything. Weird. Can I even put into run speed? How did I not spend any IP on this character? I'm kind of confused now. Not to worry. Right, buff menu. Right, fixer now has... Me tool NCU. Can I get that? I don't think I get it. I think it's got to be 25. Yeah, I didn't get it. We've got a long run, so maybe grid space. Nice. A lot more run speed than we did have. We should have hack and quack. Have I run out of um I may not have enough cancel that one. Try again. Needs twenty-five NCU just Failed to get, oh. 55, 76, it's 20, oh no, it's 20, oh yeah. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so we'll just get basic buffs as well. Um, let's get... Um, Melee expertise? Only special attribute utility nano expertise not really, really doing much with nano at the moment but there we go we got them and we got grid space so that's going to make the mission a bit easier to get to given we ain't got no yelm and i need to unload some inventory don't i Oh yeah, look at us charging along now, my god. <clears throat> we could claim the lounge master as well, but I don't think it adds very much. T. Iverson Velo fit follow. Thank you for the follow. to run hence hack and quack um grid space i think once we've done that i think we get rid of grid space and just go with hack and quack for the bigger heels welcome to memory lane who remembers running all the way down here just to see where it went. I do. I 
remember discovering the path behind the waterfall and going, oh my god, what is this place I found? Is there enough people to do raids? What, on 2019? Raids are pretty much constant on the main server. Uh, 2019, I think so, yeah. There's quite a few people do them. Onyx. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Onyx. Hi, everyone. Nice nostalgia. Nostalgia. <laughs> Nostalgia? Uh, gameplay. Yeah. Except I've never stopped playing, so this is just Sunday night. You know. Um, on you six. Okay. On your six. I get it. I get it. It's hard to decipher, and you have to be careful because some of these uh, names people come up with, if you read them out loud, sound almost exactly like a naughty word, and so on. So, yeah, there's plenty of people to do raids. Um, fighting over, fighting over sector forty-two slots on the on the live server. Yeah, this is the twenty nineteen server. So about not even 20% of the population are on here. We just came over here because I've run out of character slots. I've got 21 characters on the main account. So, yeah. You go to the live server and it's like a different world. You've got Froob armies, you know. Even people that choose to play Froob, you know, and do Froob only stuff. 2019 was the server launched in, funnily enough, 2019, and was very popular for about six months, and then people kind of missed their big tunes, and a lot of them drifted back. Plus, the way they managed the rollout was not, not the best, let's say. Like people voted, release Shadowlands, and they went... Yeah, we'll release Shadowlands after we do this. So it was like the vote was like pointless. Might as well just rolled out what they wanted and not bothered with the vote really because they ignored the result. A third is coming from below. Here we go. Yeah, you'd be max level the day they, they changed the threshold. Yeah, everyone said, no, release Shadowlands before, after level 50, so we can do all the nascence content. And the second vote was, raise the level to um, 100. And the third vote was, release the alien expansion. How can you, you can't release the alien expansion before you release Shadowlands. It's not the order they ever released on the server. It doesn't make sense. Um. And they went, yay, we've seen your vote, so we're going to be we're going to ignore it and release um, level 100. <laughs> so Nascence just completely got ignored when they released Shadowlands like a week later or whatever. One more Shy Ermite to complete. Yeah, so it was really popular until they kind of ballsed up the uh, the poll. Because they, they obviously had the plan to do it a certain way. And then when people didn't vote for the plan they wanted. Item store, what? Subway Explorer Pack for 600. What did you get in it? Uh, this will give you crude silencer armor, OFAB prototype weapon, don't need, uh, spirits or implants, and basic NCU belt component of your... <laughs> no, Funcom, no. 
<laughs> no, I don't want your things. Let me have the veteran points I got from the other server. That would be better. Heavy infantry? Don't mind if I do. There we go. That was a waste doing the... Unless it did double up and give me both um, two levels of alien XP there. I'm not sure. Ray I level three, though. Yeah, once they fully unlocked the server, people went, well... Yeah. And then rumours started flying around about the longevity of the server. And people were like, well, I'm not investing you know, hundreds of hours into a character if you're just going to shut the server down. I'll go back to the main server instead. So a lot of people drifted back in that, you know, thin end of the wedge, isn't it? Once that starts, it's very hard to stop it. And here we are six years later, well, five years later, still, the server's still up, but, you know, too late now, isn't it? <laughs> the damage is done. On the live server, which we'll see later, it's yeah, it's massively bu busier than this. It's not as busy as like 2005 or something, but it's still pretty busy. I remember like 2004 was 20 years ago. That's just nuts when you think about it. The game is 23 years old. Wow. There's people in jobs, driving cars, maybe with children, young children anyway, who weren't even born when this game came out. <laughs> Buzzkill. Yeah, just a bit. I was in my early 30s when this game came out, and now I'm old. What can you do? Went to WoW for a long time. Yeah, when was that? 2004? WoW came out. People go, oh, that's the OG MMO. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> Three years younger than this. What are you on about? Can I use... I should be able to use this grid now, though. Should be a bit quicker. I think I used it before anyway, but... Yeah, without thinking about it. Yeah, if you're on the live server, this area is way, way different. So you can see it's like no one around. Oh, I don't need the mule anymore. Let's log that off. But if I quickly log into the main server, which I'll be doing in a bit anyway, uh, to do the giveaway. What? But how am I clicking on stuff? Does my head in? Maybe I need a new mouse, I don't know. So now I'm on the live server. So I'll log in the tune I'll be doing the giveaway from. And I'll go stand in the same spot. The buff bot's down. But yeah, this is like no one in Old Athen on the other server. Because there's no GMI. 
so you don't get people hanging around GMI. That and it's a Sunday night and it's not a busy night on the servers generally. You know, there's like a few raids running and stuff like Raid for All and whatnot will be, yeah, they'll be busy at the moment. And go to ICC. People milling around. There was somebody here. People are much more kind of spread out now because you've got all the Shadowlands areas as well. There's usually PvP going down over here. Yeah. It's just a lot busier. There'll be people in doing missions in Shadowlands. Oh, come on with this shit. Zone! There we go. Yeah, that's still a thing. <laughs> Clicking on grid and nothing happening. Still a thing after all this time. Right, we were going to go back to ICC and get other buffs. So we cancelled... SFA, we're going to cancel grid space. We don't really need that for what we're doing. We'll get rid of that. Wow, people, much amaze. Not loads of people. And I think I already spoke to the thing, so. You know what? I do. Yeah, I thought so. Right, so we got those. Fixer, let's. Tool NCU. Right, so now I've got 116. I've got 28 of 116. Right, nice. So now I should be able to get. Why is hacking? No, that's. Hack data stream, no. Doctor Hack and Quack. Someone jumped in just before me with a multi request. We've got Hack and Quack. Let's get. Can we squeeze our RFE on? That'd be quite funny. <laughs> God mode. Right, okay. And we've got. 20, um, not 25 left. What else can we squeeze in? The grid space would be a lot, wouldn't it? But I think how many is. Uh, It's basically 48, yeah, it's too many. We've only got 25. What's BM off? 47, can't fit that. No, we'll, we'll just go with that. We've got a bit of spare NCU. Right, okay. So, Subway. Slower than we were by 700 run points. Yeah, that's a player-made thing. That's that's not Funcom doing that. 
That's players um, running scripted bots so you can get buffs when you need them. Instead of hunting round for buffs, you just go get buffs. Quite a lot of buffs actually, most of the useful stuff. And like now, Hack and Quack lasts four hours as does RRFE. Most general buffs last four hours instead of 30 minutes or whatever. Which is pretty nice quality of life thing. Oh, Violent Vagabond. Good night. <laughs> yeah, there's one on the live server normally where my other character was standing, but um, it's crashed this evening. <laughs> All the accounts that are running it have just gone boop. It'll come back. And there's another one in Newland anyway. Right, what do I want next? Muggers! Oh, thank you, gentlemen, for volunteering. Like the equaliser. Fouch! With the loot, please. Good luck. There should be a couple in here. There is. Ooh, level 26 already. I haven't gotten the quest. Can you get back in at 26? Otherwise we don't get the helmet, do we? Can you re-enter at 26? Damn, I forgot to pick up the quest. Can't unlevel either, so... Oh well. I think you can, you can stay in here past 25, but not much past 25. Is it 31 is the max you can be in here? Yeah, 31, it teleports you out. I'm pretty sure you're right. And you can't re-enter at 26. Damn, I forgot to get the quest. Oh, well. Coming for you. Didn't see that I'd leveled. I thought, yeah, I won't get. I'll, I'll pop out before I get to 26, and then I got to 26. <laughs> oh well. I'm not going to level that much on grey crap. Need to go deeper. Oh, a green. Yay. My target is grey still. Oh, there's one. Oh, 
all these going to attack? They are, aren't they? Okay. Ooh, greedy. 27. Definitely not getting back in now. <laughs> all right. Neural burnout. Still need one. But seeing as we got the green sword of win, to kill everything. How much your patterns we want? never managed to hit 31 in here I'll be honest there's not much you know most of it goes gray doesn't it which means you're getting like one XP per kill incomplete rebuild fragmented soul see anything um come on break my snare all right don't then oh he did thanks yeah the only mob would be ab mouth yeah i don't know about killing him on this character it's not very good pretty weak source apart from the weapon even with reflects and whatnot 28 Need melded patterns yeah we're taking damage even now so off gray stuff gray and green so something higher is going to be difficult Soon. What are these guys like? Oh, they're green. It was easier on Keeper because you had you like your own hot plus hack and quack, so it was a bit more doable. shadows we could farm them for a bit <laughs> oh there's Eumenides as well isn't there maybe go maybe give, give him a poke what are these dudes? Yeah, these are green. XP. This might be a sign to roll a trader. Oh, it could be. Be grey, be, gr be yellow or green or something. Oh, he's grey. I thought it would be yellow. Level C. He's only level 20. Okay.
you push it as far as we can, just for the lols, I think. See if we can get kicked out. <laughs> Before we die. Trying to fight the boss. Where are you? Ooh. <clears throat> Blood Creeper, thank you. Oh, these two will do. Probably don't even need to be full ag, actually. Let's go half. Might still be 1-1. One, one. What about a Sloob MA Trader? Yeah, but you're going to miss out on some of the better nanos now. That's the only thing with Sloob, because you, you don't get the OFAB drains. I don't think. I don't think Sloob can use them. I'm not up on what Sloob can and can't use. It's been a while. No! <laughs> Mongo. Go on, break it. Oh, no, just nuke. Hit me. Break the root. Boring. Oh, you can... Yeah, the, 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 it's an, a kind of an error. And you can fix it uh, without contacting support. There's Virgil. He's level 32, so we just keep farming Virgil. They used to go to the old site and log in there and it, it took it got rid of the block. They they're not supposed to be blocked, it's it's like a little error. I don't know if you can still get I think the old site it redirects, but someone found another way around it. But I can't remember what it was. Um, let me just quickly look. Trying to remember how to get to it now. No, the, it's got a redirect on it now. Uh, someone figured it out. You went to the Secret World um, <clears throat> login page, that old one, and then you could you could log in and click activate on your Froob accounts, and it unblocked it. Secret, that's it. Yeah. Has anyone got a link for um, Salbins? We can go and unblock his uh, wrongly blocked account. Okay. Bio-shielding. Let's perk that. <laughs> yep. Perking that one. And then let's do... Let's get these two done. Nose. That and that. Spot and rally specials, yep, we'll do that. Did I do win it? I did. <clears throat> yeah, you go on there and you can log into your Fruber account for Anarchy on there and click on activate and it fixes it. You used to be able to do it on the old register at Funcom site, but when you go to that now, it just redirects you, so kind of a pain. Oh, I don't know if we're ready for him, guys. He hits hard. I'm a chicken. Oh, well. Can but try. If we can hit him hard enough, quick enough. Yeah, 
Go, 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 go. Hit hard, hit hard. Yes. Victorious. Ooh, jugglers. Nano ring. Grand belt of justice, which can't put on, but. Strength as a hummingbird. What, oh, what waste implant energy I see. Or Metaplast. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad little haul. So we're level 30, and we reckon 31 is the max. I wasn't sure about that fight, but yeah, we did okay there. Hack and quack and reflect, though. Kind of a big, bit of a big cheat. Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of see red dots on the map here. Are they above me? I think they must be. Yeah, they're, they've respawned above there, haven't they? That's the walkway you're on. Yeah, look. Can't click on them, but they're there. It's like it. I can see a red dot. Why can't I see a mob? Aha, because reasons. Right, let's see if we can find any other greenies. Then we'll come back and fight him again. If not. Hopefully, you're green. These guys respawned. Yay, still green. These haven't, okay. Made a video. Kex made a video. But he's not talking. Secret world. There you go. Log in. Yeah, that'll be his browser saying, do you want to save it? Paid services. Uh, and that takes you to the register at Funcom site. Yeah, there you go. Reactivate account. Bump. There you go. So you got the video for it now. There you go. Gonna murder all the shadows. Good old Mongo. Oh, you're grey. Yeah. Yeah, I've never out leveled this place to the point where uh, it throws you out. I've never actually got that far. I'm curious now. Can I do it? At 31, it's going to throw me out. Go for 31. And take a while killing grey crap. <laughs> Another grey. Oh, you're green. XP. There we go. I think. Oh, you're actually not. Okay. All grey. Boring. Oh, from control or anger, you're not. I don't have a research goal. No! That's been going on a while. <laughs> I've not noticed. Oh. Right, you guys. Green. Oh, okay, we're still finding the odd green. Yeah, I think you've got to log into each and every account, which is kind of a pain, but it does fix it. Oh. 
you run all the way down that why why did you why did you do why you do that is everything gray in here no you're not nearly there so close any of these oh you're green but looking for green mobs or better greens here oh there was one yeah further up we go the less likely they are they're going to be lower and lower levels aren't they almost there 31 still in here dun 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 for how long though I was expecting it to throw me out now it hasn't we've got to get to 32 then that's going to be difficult. In the 31, we're going to have even less greens. Oh, no, there's a few. There's a few. Okay, we might we might do it yet. I mean, it's obviously doable eventually, but, you know, I'd rather not have to kill grey crap for an hour. There you go. I found a pointless task to do. <laughs> A, a self challenge level up in the subway until it throws you out the subway challenge that's the the new challenge it's not no it's not ab mouth anymore ab, ab mouth is is for noobs <laughs> the real the real challenge deranged shopper and this okay humanities Easy humani humanities, not hard to kill humanities on the live server in the high level subway. Oh, they're all grey. You're green. If I, oh, a few of these have respawned, that'll do. Yep. So we reckon 32 is when you're auto kicked out then, not 31. Virgil! And the Melvins. I'm just seeing how far you can go before it kicks you out. That's all I'm doing it for, for the, for the lols. I just want to, I've never, I've never leveled up in here so much that it kicked me out. So, for science, right? I think he just respawned as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> all these buffs it's a bit much close now and another belt of justice oh is that the I think that's the previous one yeah it was oh, it's unique I can't pick up another Get another NCU ring though. Could come in handy. Higher level belt, but still three slot. Yeah, it's massively overpowered. It'll, it's only available on this server just to make life easier. You can't get it on the live server. You see anybody with this on the live server, they're exploiting. It's not supposed to exist there. Are these guys back? Are these green yet? Still green! So close. The slums, are they still... Oh, green one. 32. I'm still here. Hasn't kicked me out. Does it, does it take a second or two to figure it out? <laughs> Random filthily. <laughs> Okay, if it's supposed to kick me out at 32, it hasn't. Oh, these are these were green, now they're all grey. Oh well. This sword is massively overpowered. You can put it on at level one. Just run around owning everything. It still hasn't thrown me out, has it? If I log off, will it throw me out? Well, we're still level 32 in here, so... I don't know. Yeah, we've got this sword. R-R-F-E, and... <laughs> Everything, you know, well and truly OP. trying to kick me out there's no system message saying uh, you you um, are too high level for this server blah 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 out damned spot you know which it normally would I'm sure you get some sort of system message and then you teleport it out I'm sure of it Guess it's not 32 then. Higher than 32? Anything green anymore up here? Uh. 
No, I don't think we are. Oh. Well, apparently you can be in here at this level. Gray now, what about you? Oh, green. You're not, but oh no, rooted. <laughs> right, I think that's enough being silly. It is time to do the giveaway oh icc planet-wide announcement av spank has been awarded the highest honorary rank for outstanding dedication to the defense of rubicar congratulations right i'm gonna go and do the draw at icc because everyone can go there and there's no issues so give me a second Right, okay then. So, lame limpet. Good to see you. Good luck. Right then, folks, we're going to do the draw. Are we all ready? Here, pressure, Peter. Yeah, so just so you know what you're bidding on, it's a bag of wind, not a grace. You get hold hell at bay. Five quality 300 um, ability NCUs. Hold, um, lava boots. Active ancient bracer. Complete crystallized memories. 2k token package a modified noto com mesh trench coat which looks very cool and a heavy note and tank so pretty nice bag of win and that was from scott from dark so yeah cool here we go we're doing the draw right now Zizon, you has won the bag of wind, sir. Is Zizon in the chat? He is in the chat. He's in shock face. <laughs> Tell me what character you want to collect your bag of wind on, sir. Coming on a little adventure called Kaichu. Okay. You, you can see where I am. I'm looking at the chimney stack in ICC. Kaiju from Crimson Assassins. There we go. Let me click on your head. Make sure I got the right bag. So there you go. All yours, sir. Oh, you should thank um, Dark Scott <laughs> for that. He gave me that ages ago to give away. <laughs> it's been sat in my bank. And we are, but before he gave me that, someone else gave me another like dozen bags of goodies, and finally got through. Right, okay, so that's that one done. Uh, Mrs. Callus Two will be finishing very very soon. I'm just going to text her now, actually.
There we go. There's your shift going. Right, I'll go park this guy and we'll continue the... Um... Oh. I was nowhere near the emergency exit. How very dare you. I was closer to Newland just there. Where does that put you if you're Omni, though? Never gone over it on an Omni. Right. So I'm going to log this character off. We'll carry on um, with our research, not totally not just dicking around. Wait, this is this is serious research. What level do you get kicked out of here? <laughs> oh, you're great. Oh, well, well, fine. I think we leveled as well, didn't we? So, yeah, okay, so. Do some of these. Those two. Green. We thought it was 32 that you automatically got kicked out. Yeah, if we relog it, it'll probably kick us out. But I, I really want to know if there's a, a you know a, a fixed level like a re. Yeah, most of these were green before. Now half of them are not. Thirty-three's got to be the max, surely. Yeah, if you relog, do you wait? Does it log you back outside or something? Yeah, a re has got an auto kick. You get a system message saying you are now too high level for this zone, and it throws you out. But it is difficult to reach that level because of mob you just out level everything there like every, all the biggest bosses or whatnot are no longer you know supplying you with anything you can't you know you're doing one xp per kill kind of malarkey We get a brain of win. No, we got the recruit issue Omnipole Forest helmet, which I can't wear because it's got to be Omni. We got another juggler's treat, which I can't pick up. Another ring, got a better one. Don't care. There we go. What was it? Who was it? Who? What? Siljar Russell rescrubbed. Not rescrubbed. Resubbed at tier one. They've subscribed twenty nine months, dude. Thank you so much. Twenty nine months. And for the resub, much appreciated. What's the image? Show me the perfect U-turn. Here it is. Yep. The dog just noped out of that. It too damn cold. I'm going back in. <laughs> cool. All right, okay. If we reach 32, 33, will it auto kick? I reckon you're right. If we relog, it will kick us out. But I'm just, you know, curious now. Ooh, green. Uh, gray. Any greens in here? Let's kill them all. Oh, there's a few. They were all green before. None of these, okay. How is AO going? Still hunting cake and alive. Yeah, basically. 
we're just we're just goofing off in here to see how high level the the dungeon kicks you out. You're grey. What about you guys? All grey. Well, oh, blood creepers not. Humanities. Oh no, not humanities. It's going to end up being Abmouth being the only mob that will give us XP because everything else will be grey at some point. Grey and grey, what about you? Also grey to the surprise of nobody. But these guys now. Oh, you're not. You're a green, grey. Grey. But you're like Rose, so I'm going to kill you. Yeah. All grey in here. Protection buff when you enter the place. I haven't got it. Are you thinking it may be the temple? Because the temple does that, yeah. Yeah, didn't they make that buff last hours and hours, like hundreds of hours, though? I reckon if we relog, it'll turf us out. We'll try it for science. Right. Here we go. We're camping out. I think when we log it back in, it's going to be outside. That's what I think. Yeah, it's not in my NCU. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Let's see what it does now. Let me just... All right. Log back and see where, where it thinks I am. Still inside? What's going on? I, I was sure when we logged it would be like Dunsky. <laughs> You're done, mate. Oh, we're nearly 33 now, so. Hey, why not? Is Abby back? No. Has not been long enough. I mean, if it doesn't throw you out, I could just leave this character in here. Like, anyone need Ab Mouth? Okay. <laughs> just run in and kill him. Virgil to respawn, I think. Getting yeah, because the the amount of mobs we can kill for XP has gotten smaller and smaller and smaller. It's getting bore, more and more boring. <laughs> it's not fun anymore. Far on me, and I was a rear end when you hit 25. How were yeah? The the you can't re enter at 25. Uh, they changed it, was that that used to be correct, but then they did change it to 25, it used to be 24. When you're killed or reach level 35, oh, I'm not staying here till level 35 because it'll just be me and Abmouth, and there won't be anybody else to kill. Uh, that's too much work. 
<laughs> anyway, giveaway is now done. We've scienced. Can you pick that up? Carbonium rock. Quality 29. Is Virgil back? Yeah, so I, I, I figure, yeah, it's 35 then. It's possible to get to 35, I guess. I mean, you could get higher if you're prepared to kill grey trash. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking it's probably gonna be thirty-five then. You gotta work hard for science, yeah. Reach two hundred in the subway. No, I don't I'm obviously not gonna let you do that. Did an experiment with Space Quest and um, when arcs still were arcs. And um We, we're going to do um, Seekers and whatnot on Noob Island and I said okay so he teleported me to Noob Island and it kicked me out said you are too high level like, Aww. Yeah, I don't know friend of mine did that he wanted to do the 1 to 900 in normal stuff but 199 to 200 in a backyard. I've heard people doing um, the last, yeah, when 200 was your final ding, doing it in a backyard. But like, when they're like, they only need like 10 XP or something. And trying really, really hard not to go too high or to, you know, to be so close. Anyway, I think we'll call it there. Anyone else streaming AO at the moment? Uh, there's... Oh, yeah, this guy. Okay. Too higher levels now than when you might have seen him last, or you might have been following along in the recording. Yeah, we'll go raid this guy. I'm trying to do some stuff that I haven't done before so I can kind of prepare and practice for it. More AO. Waiting. I'm, there you I'm go. Reading he does talk to everyone, so it's kind of cool. So all aboard for the raid train. Go say hi. Please, Mr. Ergo, I agree totally. This is very interesting. Is that everyone that wants to go? <laughs> is that, or have some of you fallen asleep? <laughs> I don't blame you. It is late. All right. Love you all. Thank you for the resubs. Thank you for the follows. Um, thank you for joining in. And I will try and squeeze one in tomorrow, but I'm 50 50 or if I'll be able to do it or not. Okay. Those who are sleeping scream loudest. <laughs> Something like that. All right. Thanks again, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, folks. Bye for now.